Okay, today I'm going to take a look at the Tenvis wireless IP camera, which includes night vision and motion detection with an alarm. Starting off we've got a quick start guide, some application software, a DC adapter plug, one, e one ethernet cable, A few screws, um, a mount, and one camera, which is rather impressive looking. Actually a lot bigger than I expected as well. That's really nice. And this one is pan and tilt enabled as well. And I must admit, whilst I've used wireless IP cameras before, I've not had one with a pan and tilt facility, so this is a new experience. We have some cardboard and we have an empty box. OK, so I'm going to have a look at the instructions and once I've set this thing up, I will get back to you. OK, so far so good. At first you've got to wire in your camera. It couldn't be easier. Ethernet cable into router. Power supply into plug socket. When you power on, the camera does a self-test, whizzes around a bit, goes up and down, and settles itself down. You can then, if you wish, go about setting up the Wi-Fi side of your camera, which I'm just about to do. Now, I'm choosing to do it via Windows, and I've actually gone to apps.tenvis.com. The CD comes with it, but I've just gone to the website to download it for ease, um, rather than install it from the, from the CD-ROM or DVD. Um, but obviously that's up to you if you want to install it from that, there's no difference. When you go through the IP camera easy setup on Windows, the first thing you need to do is to change the default password for the camera. Obviously that is important because otherwise technically anybody could try to log into your camera and there are security risks there. Before I set up Wi-Fi, I'm just going to go through launch to actually have a look at the camera at the moment. Well, that's a good idea. It comes up with a reminder that you haven't connected to the Wi-Fi yet and would you like to set the Wi-Fi up now? So I think I'll do that now rather than look at it through Ethernet. And so at this stage, I was quietly impressed with the way things had gone. I'd actually got it set up with the camera on Wi-Fi working within about 10 minutes. It was then on in that... I discovered that really the camera isn't quite as useful as you think it may be, especially if you're using it for home security. The pan and tilt is a dream. You know, you've you've got a 180 degree range there, and the camera is brilliant. It's only 640 by 480 pixels, 
Um, not high definition by any means in today's standards, but I've seen um, IP cameras with a far worse quality. Colour-wise, um, colours I found were slightly distorted to be on a slightly the pinkish-reddish side. I don't, don't know why that should be, um, but it's not the end of the world. At this point I was using Google Chrome as a browser and I was quite happy with the uh, actual menu following things down quite easy all the little you've got little automatic pan and tilt options there you can do manual pan and tilt using those buttons that you see there you can select your language at the top frequency And then there's those buttons at the bottom, which you will see in just a moment. Got a couple more things up the top here. Your resolution, of course, that's a maximum of 640 by 480. You got your frame rates to choose from, and as I said, your your power frequency at the top there. And there I am, having a good old time with the novelty of a panning camera. All the ones I've had before have been fixed. Yes, despite the irritations which I will explain later, this is really quite an impressive little camera. Now you'll notice at this stage I'm going back over the same menu I'd already navigated. I was just a, a little bit puzzled as to how to actually record clips. I suppose reading the instruction booklet might be a good idea at that stage but I'm one of those people who sort of delves in and then reads later. So there I am just going down those menu options at the top. I don't know why I'm doing that. I think I was just doing it to demonstrate to you guys the uh, different options that are available there. But you'll see I work my way down here. And then I come down to show you the options beneath the navigation buttons. Self-explanatory, the horizontal patrols and the vertical patrols see a camera either goes up and down or left and right and you've got a pause button to stop it doing that you can preset up to eight uh, camera positions that works well you place the camera in your nominated position press set and that's it it locks it in place and then you press go when you want it to go to that camera that's that's good fun and then you've got your um, infrared LEDs for night time on or off there You've got some adjustments to the screen with brightness and contrast. To be honest, the picture's not, you know, high definition anyway, so it doesn't make much difference at all, really. You just correct it slightly. But orientation, you've got flip, mirror, or flip and mirror, because, of course, uh, this can be ceiling mounted if you wanted to. And you'd obviously need to flip the image. Or you can mount it on a wall. Several different options. Really, for a camera that can do that, this is still a, an excellent price. So only as I delved further into the software, I found the limitations, as you can see, popping up there, that the software is only totally compatible with Internet Explorer. You'll now need to refer to the text that I'm submitting to Amazon along with this review to see my total despair that although this can detect motion it doesn't actually record the video it just sends you a warning or a picture if you can get that to work that makes it pretty useless as a security camera however as a small protection camera for a shop maybe it would be quite useful or maybe if you're one of those people who likes to just keep an eye on their house but isn't too worried about the crime side, that might be useful too.